is not a gentleman's club. You know what a true gentleman is? It's someone that treats a woman made in the image of God as a queen, as one that deserves to be respected, his body, his, his naked body is not to be observed by any man but her husband. What is going on here today is wickedness, it's vileness, it's adultery of the heart, it's, it's, a do it's fornication of the heart. And I know and believe in your heart of hearts, you know what you're doing in here is wrong, it is wicked, and you need to repent. You need to repent by God's grace, repent of your idolatry. Repent of your fornication. Repent of your adultery. Leave this place while you have hope. While there's breath in your lungs. Repent while you have a chance. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord. For he will have mercy upon him and unto our God. For he will abundantly pardon. Oh, friends, do you not know that this place is going to be destroyed one day? That the God of heaven, the holy, righteous God of heaven will destroy this place one day? You can stand up today against God. Against this holy God who holds your breath in his hands. And you can rebel against him. And you can sing to your heart's content. But on judgment day, you're going to have to give an account. God is going to destroy this whole earth for its wickedness. Especially this place. Especially this strip club. Oh, friends. Realize that Christ died for you. He shed his precious, righteous blood for you. Christ Jesus, the sinless Son of God, the Lamb which took away the sins of the world, behold Him! Oh, behold Him! The Lord Jesus Christ is the one who holds your breath in His hands, and He commands you to repent. You're going to have to face Him one day. Are you ready? When every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Oh. There's only two kingdoms and families in existence today. One belongs to God and the other belongs to the devil. All those who are not in God's kingdom are currently in the devil's kingdom. And all those who have not bow the knee to the Lord Jesus Christ are currently on their way to hell and eternal death. But God desires to free those that are in the devil's kingdom. Bring them out of their bondage to sin. Save them from the wrath to come. Adopt them as his son or daughter and inherit them into his family. Give them eternal life. Come into their hearts. Change them from the inside out. Put his spirit within them so that they would live as soldiers and warriors for the Lord Jesus Christ. But there's only one way to do so. Judge Evan to tell you right now, would you consider yourself to be a good person? No. Sir, repent. Turn away from this place. It's against God, sir. You know in your heart it's wrong. It's wicked to look on the nakedness of a woman that's not your wife. God created you for one woman. One. One woman, one man for life. One woman, one man for life. That is what marriage is. That's how God created, that's his perfect intention. Why don't we come back to that? Are you good? According to God's standards, they are saying, are you good? According to the Word of God, according to the perfect law of God, are you good in God's sight? You know, most every man will proclaim his own goodness, but a faithful man who can find 
to take God's name in vain, we commit blasphemy. So the Bible says that the Lord will not hold him to kill us, it takes his name in vain. Because of this, we deserve God's judgment. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. The wages, the payment that we're all going to receive is death. Not just a physical death, friend. When you go that, that day on, on the day of your death and you're taken finally to your casket and you're sitting and, and your, your, your whole family maybe is able to see your dead body there, that's not it. That's not the end. There's going to come a sure end. A sure and eternal end. There's an eternal death to face. And that's why I'm warning you today. Turn away from your sin. Turn your heart from your sin before you face that eternal death. I don't come out here because I think I'm better than you. I don't come out here because I think I'm more righteous than you. No, I'm more wicked than you. I was more wicked until I was imputed the righteousness of Christ. Praise God. Until I was imputed the righteousness of Christ. That means I was credited with His righteousness. And you can be too. You know, friend, we are like bankrupt. We are bankrupt before God when it comes to righteousness. We have no goodness. We have no righteousness to offer God. And that's why the Lord Jesus had to come and die for our sins. And He had to rise again from the dead. He defeated death. He defeated our greatest enemy. Oh. Praise His name. Praise His name. Oh, I just I encourage everyone to leave this place. Leave this place of sin. Repent. Turn away from it. Turn away from the wickedness that is in your heart that would draw you to such a place like this. Serve God. Serve righteousness. Turn away from the ways of the world that you may live. As God has said, He places life and He places death before us today. He says, choose life. Do not choose death. Why will you die? The Bible says, why will you spend an eternity in hell under the wrath of God? The Bible says, it says He's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. That all of us should come to repentance. I believe he's holding out his hand today. He's holding out his arm of grace. He's holding out his arm of mercy to those who would stop lifting up their eyes proudly. To those who would be broken. He's offering you his grace today. If your heart would just be broken under the weight of your sins. I had to have my heart broken one day under the weight of my sins when I realized that God was the greatest friend that I ever had and I was only taking everything that He had given me and I was using it to sin against Him. You know what that's like, friend? That's like spitting in the face of God. Why would you take what God has given you as a gift of life, your breath, your eyes, your very heartbeat, your hands and your feet. Why would you take what God has given you and use it to serve the devil with? To serve the lust of your flesh? Oh, does it doesn't make sense. It's foolish, yes, as scripture says, sin is foolishness. So choose life. Man, choose to not sin today. Choose to not go in this wicked place, this strip club right here, where women are burying their naked bodies, which is a wicked thing. Choose not to do that. And choose life. Choose righteousness. Choose the Lord Jesus Christ. You can do it. You can certainly do it. It's not like you can't. Oh, God will give you the power to do it. And then you're going to give glory to God. You're not going to go away boasting when you experience the grace of God. No, you'll give glory to God that He turns you away from this grace. I don't want to say anything out of compulsion or anything like that, friends. If you truly love the Lord 
Lord Jesus Christ, then I would say, turn. Turn away from this place. Turn away from all your sins. Not just the sin of lust. Not just the sin of blasphemy, but everything. Turn your heart from your sin and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. He died on the cross for our sins. Scripture says, and he rose again from the dead on the third day, according to Scripture. It is so clear, so abundantly clear, so beyond all doubt what the Lord Jesus has done for you. If you walk into this place and partake in that sin, then you're trampling on his blood, sir. That's weighty. That's a weighty statement. Very weighty. Take that to heart. You're trampling on the blood of Christ. If you're going in the knowledge that you know it's wrong to lust after a woman in your heart. Thank you.